Snake Pliskinist. Um, you're an interesting fellow. Um, I hate holding the camera. I'm talking to you because you seem like an interesting fellow. I mean, uh, now I could believe you're not in that introspective because, for example, you don't realize things about yourself that I could see, like that you are introspective. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you're analyzing a lot for a non-introspective person while you're talking to various people. I think what you're complaining about in your video, uh, though it's tangential to the real motivations and stuff like that, of course you probably would agree. Um, you know, I'm not saying what those motivations are, I'm just saying. Uh, but you do raise this issue about introspection, a complaint about it, and I think you're complaining about people, not, not that introspect, but that share their introspection. I introspect a lot, I advocate it, but I don't necessarily advocate sharing it all. But ironically, it can be very humble to share your introspection because it's easy to pick apart someone's introspection. Because like you say, they might glorify themselves. Maybe they're r rationalizing in a way that doesn't glorify themselves. Maybe they make themselves look bad. I've found all of the above. It's interesting when people do share their introspection. Um, it's, it's kind of a giving act, which is why I don't do it. I don't see why, uh, why, how it does me any good to share that. Uh, generally, I, I do a minimum. You know, you try to stay honest when you realize, well, here's where I'm really coming from, you know. And then you might share, well, here's where the result of what I, when I thought about where am I coming from. Um, but it's funny, a lot of things about your, your deal there, and, and you're saying you don't want to introspect, and, and, but geez, you find out you're criticizing feminism. Who knows why? And, and you're mocking the idea that you know women are objectified because everything's objectified. Now I don't want to get sloppy seconds, but everything's objectified. So I just thought, I, you know. yeah, there's a bit of a trend, sort of a systematic bias, right? A lot of this objectification you were noticing it cancels out, like magnetic fields in different directions, right? You get a ways away from it, it cancels out. The, the thing about uh, like, I don't know, rhetorical abuse of women women in the language or in our habits, our attitudes and framing, is that it's all aligned. So any woman that comes on YouTube and does what you and I do discussing things is going to have to hear that sloppy second kind of bullshit. And then someone like you mocking that, well, it's not even an issue. Joe, Joe why do you think that women are complaining about being objectified and Trivialize or I, they're probably it's probably they're probably on their period. I don't know why. Maybe that's it. I mean, I haven't gone and watched this woman's videos, uh, but from the clips you show, I don't really see a problem. I don't see a problem with feminists that say, hey, we can do fashion, but it's useless. It's the definition of useless. I have no use for it. Well, I obviously have no use for it either, so you and I are on the same side. But there's a lot of art, flourish, expression, but in general, I'm for expression. And I think there's a, be a healthy way of caring how your hair looks. I've never found one. I'm not interested in finding one if it does exist, but... But I don't see how it plays into the stereotype, the stereotype that you're trying to um, emphasize here, um, or body image. Yeah, it can be annoying to watch other people try to repair their own self-image. You don't seem to have a bad self-image. People that do have a bad self-image, it's probably advisable to try to get to the state of mind that uh, that you have where you just don't care, that's the end result, it's like, I love myself, love myself, I actually just don't care, it's fine, I'm fine with myself, whatever. You know, draw yourself to your own boredom with thinking about yourself. That doesn't mean there's not some possible, some truth that a, a young woman that is dying her hair that color is thinking a lot more about that than later on she will. And she might agree with you, oh yeah, that was too much. But you know, that was back then, you know. 
It was a time in your life where you were probably thinking a lot more about that kind of thing. Uh, I used you as an example because I never have. Fuck it. Um, so, um, yeah, I think it's an interesting choice of targets in that it simply shows that, yeah, introspection is useful. It is useful to know why you're doing these things. Uh, there is no one reason why. No, there's 50 million reasons, so get them all. Give them all different weights. And, oh, but I'll get the weights wrong. Well, you'll get them better than if you don't try to even think about it at all. Right. As far as I can see, I don't see anything wrong, you know, in Yukafa that when she says uh, that uh, men can't wear dresses, there's more restriction on male fashion. Huh. It's true what she's saying. No. No, it's because men don't want to wear dresses. That's a silly feminist notion. <laughs> and yet, I, I don't think you really think this way, this way that I'm mocking or characterizing, but that's what you're using for your video bit there. So that's interesting. All right. Yeah, the thing is, to, to answer this, uh, you'd have to introspect. But I think you already have, huh? Probably. <laughs>